All right, welcome back. It's uh, late July 61, and I'm starting us off here looking at Arkansas. We can kind of get a visibility of what's going on. Um, it looks like that's probably General McCulloch. I'm not sure certain about that. Is is here in Van Burn, likely moving to Fayetteville. Um, you can also see there's a militia unit here, and he's spread out some um, some other forces um, all throughout the West, including with Shelby um, in the far front. Uh, we're currently uh, holding Lawrence with a decent sized force um, and then um, Leavenworth with, with um, a smaller force. What I'm going to do is this. I'm going to I'm bringing basically everything in um, to Vienna, Missouri. They can't, um, all the forces can, can get to Erie, Missouri. So I'm just going to send one um, militia unit um, forward who will uh, basically um, scout out what's going on um, in, in Springfield. Um, there will be a lot of forces here. Um, basically everything um, from General Lyons Force um, and then a bit more from uh, Illinois and Indiana as well. So I think we're probably going to be um, looking at a pretty large force. What I don't know and what I'll have to decide is when I get here if I want to swing around and go after the go after whatever's in Fayetteville or take Springfield head on. Um, I'll have to decide that um, kind of once I have a better feel of, of, um, of what's there. Um, in New York, um, we're not going to go this turn. We're going to go next turn. Um, a whole bunch of forces um, will, be, will be ready. Um, I'm going to send some more forces um, to New York as well. Let's take a look at Farragut's force. You can see he has a uh, Transport capacity of 126, so um, pretty pretty large force, um, and we'll probably pretty much use all of that. Right now, I'm contemplating I'm going straight into Mobile, Alabama, um, kind of an early surprise, um, if you will. In um, Virginia, I'm really playing just purely in the defensive, um, just holding Alexandria. I'm going to kind of reinforce Harpers Ferry to kind of to, to more closely match what General Johnston. Um, General Johnson has. Uh, meanwhile, we're gaining the rest of control over the Western, uh, well, basically the the BNO, um, the BNO Railroad. As far as forces go, a um, lot of recruitment happening. Um, um, so just a little bit of hot, hot, hodgepodge of, of everything, but there's a there's a lot there. Um, so it's pretty much all full as far as the whole screen, as you can see, is full of of, of recruitment. Um, Okay, so let's run the turn and see what happens, and maybe we'll get a surprise and uh, he'll attack um, Harper's Ferry. Okay, so I'm going to kind of start off with the bad news, um, which is our militia unit, which I had moved forward uh, to Charleston, was ca um, captured by General Polk. So, uh, lost militia unit there, so that's a complete, um, that's a complete loss. We do have a decent size force here in, um, in Cairo, but nothing nothing too uh, nothing too huge. Um, and we don't have, really have any of the forces that are going to be ready soon there. Um, let's go take a look and see what is in um, Springfield. Here's uh, General Price's command. Um, as you can see, it's not um, it certainly, it certainly isn't huge. It looks like it's got a power of, um, it says we have 321 there, and they're raising um, another brigade. Um, meanwhile, uh, our force is likely to outnumber it by um, by a substantial um, by a substantial margin. So I'll have to kind of I can bring together here, and we can see. Um, How big General Lyons force is going to be. Um, so it looks like unfortunately all of our offensive artillery here, um, our their cohesion is is down. Uh, but without that, we're looking at about a power um, power of a thousand. Now unfortunately, as you can see though, it looks like let's find the Oh, that's weird. It says 20, uh, 28 days. Oh, here we go. Maybe there's a bad. Nope. Um, I'm trying to see if there's a unit that has really low. 
confusion. <laughs> well, not a hundred, not a certain. It might, it might take, um, it might take two, two terms to get there. Um, but we substantially outnumber journal price, and it looks like journal collect has come in here in to Fayetteville. Um, the weather is still clear, so I'm not really sure why it would take um, it would take um, journal lion uh, journal lion so long. I'll have, to, I'll have to take a look at why that is. Um, anyways. Um, Let's quickly flip back over and see what's going on in West Virginia. We do have some movement into um, um, into West Virginia. Um, you can see here is a Confederate force. Um, we still do control, control the railroad, but no longer uh, no longer here. Otherwise, um, there wasn't really um, there wasn't really any other any other movement any other movement here. So. I think the next big turn is to decide uh, what to do with um, uh, basically General Lyon. Um, I mean, it looks like the only thing I can do is move to Erie, Missouri. I'm a bit surprised he's not able to move faster, so I'll try to research that and see um, see what's going on. Um, quickly see if there are any interesting messages. Uh, still a whole bunch of demonstrations. Um, oh, we didn't talk about this. Um, Shelby has moved in and gathered. Uh, forces here, and you can see um, see what he has. Pretty pretty decent size, pretty decent size force. The other kind of thing that's pretty interesting is um, <clears throat> uh, we um, we our cavalry unit has arrived here, and um, as you can also see that there is a uh, there is a Confederate uh, unit that's arrived. So. We have a uh, an infantry regiment on the way, so theoretically we could take the town um, in ten days. But uh, we'll need to basically defeat this force here. It looks like uh, there are a couple other units here, but they're in pretty um, pretty poor shape. Um, there is an actual brigade down here, as you can see. So, uh, but for them to get to Tucson, they either have to go through Western New Mexico and then on, um, or or come up. Um, meanwhile, we do have um, another militia unit that's arrived um, that can, can move forward. So it's, kind of, it's basically kind of like a race um, for um, for eastern uh, for eastern Arizona. Okay, all right. Uh, thanks for listening, and see you next.